sound better. All right, so we are now back with another pro tip video. Our third pro tip video where I am going to share to you guys the tips and tricks that I know when it comes to sidechain compression. So right now here in FL, we have two tracks. We have the kick track and the instrumental track. So our main goal here is to make the kick sound more prominent throughout the entire song. So the only solution for that is we need to create a space inside the instrumental. A little bit of a space. So the only way that we can execute that is through sidechain. So the first method of sidechaining, because there are three ways of sidechaining here in FL. Number one is by the use of cross speed. Number two is by the use of this plugin called Fruity Limiter. And number three is by the use of this plugin called the Fruity Peak Controller. Now, the first method is by the use of cross speed. We have grow speed here under misc, grow speed right there. Now we have a bunch of options here. We only need this preset right here, sidechain. Now you can adjust the compression level. There are two ways to adjust that. Number one is by the use of this knob right here, this volume knob. Number two is by manually adjusting the points. There are no rules of sidechain compression, guys, I'm telling you. It's just, de it depends on your track, by the way. It depends on how much space that does a certain element on your track need in, or in order to pass through. So this is the first method. The second method would be using this plugin, Fruity Limiter. Because limiting and compressing, there are two methods here in the Fruity Limiter. It, number one is limiting and number two is compressing. Limiting and compressing are two similar things. Limiting destroys all the signal that passes on a certain threshold. In this case, this threshold right here, the ceiling. And compressing only takes away a few of that signal. So right now, we need to use the sidechain source, which is the kick. We need to sidechain that, connect that to the instrument right there. Let's go back to the fruity limiter and navigate to that source right there. We only have one sidechain source, so it's impossible to appear two here. So there's only one, so one. So if we only adjust the threshold, you won't notice any difference. But if you start messing with the ratio, you can now hear the sound. You can adjust the release. You can adjust the attack as well. This will actually help you shape your sound, your song. Again, there are no rules as long as you can make it sound good. We all have different tastes. We all have different way of doing our art so you execute it the way you want it to be so this is the second method the, th the third method would be using the fruity peak controller so let's delete this one for now and let's unroute this on the instrument so the fruity peak controller should be placed inside the sidechain source always remember that should be on the side chain source which is the kick so what we can do is we can go to controller select fruity b controller right there basically it gets the signal inside when you play the kick track see see that now what you can do is you can link this one this knob right here, this fader on this controller. So right click this, link to controller. Always remember to invert the process, invert the mapping formula. So let's route it to the peak plus LFO, accept. And now you will see this move. You can adjust the base. 
adjust the base, you can see that the initial position of this one will change right there. We need it on zero. So. Same goes with the decay in reverse. This is where we adjust the level of compression. Okay, so the last trick that I want to share to you guys is compressing just a certain frequency range of the instrumental. For example, our kick only resonates at around, let's see, let's delete this one for now because we don't, we, we, might, we don't need that. So let's go for the filter so we can see what frequency does the kick resonates in. So, hmm. It sounds louder here on this part. On this area. How about this? Wait, let's high pass this. There's not much sound. Okay, let's reset. Oops. How about this? Not much. So what we can do here is we can also make use of the Fruity Peak controller. But we only need to compress a certain frequency range, not the entire range. Because the previous three methods that we executed for the side chaining compresses all the volume. But on this method, we only need to compress a certain frequency range. So what we can do is, again, need to replace this one with a controller. Fruity P controller and we have to add an EQ here on uh, filter we need to add an EQ here on our instrumental so in this case for example we want to side chain the kick on this frequency around 50 Hertz to 100 Hertz so we need to select this So this is the fader right here, and we need to link this one to the controller again. Always invert it. So select through the LFO, accept, adjust the base right there. So right now we are only side chaining the frequency and not the entire volume of the song. That's it.